Good morning and a really quick one this morning talking about how to set up Fortnite crossplay with the PlayStation 4 and the reason I'm doing this video is because I had a comment in one of my previous videos that said something along the lines of well you've told us it can be done but you haven't showed us how to do it so I thought I'd take that as a cue and make this video showing how to set it up. Now if you see at the top in the middle I've got my kid test account logged in and this account hasn't actually got an Epic Games account set up for it yet. So we're going to go through the whole process of setting it up. So first things first, let's go into Fortnite. And now Fortnite is logged in. Let's press start to continue. And it says play with an Epic account. And that's what I mentioned just a minute ago. And this account that I've got set up here, my kid test account, hasn't got an Epic account. So what you would need is sign up. If you've already got an account, you can do log in or you can say no thanks, but that won't log any of your data or whatever. And you won't be able to have friends and all the rest of it. So in this instance, we want to sign up. Now, there's two ways of doing that. You can actually now go to a computer, go to Epic Games and set up an account from there and then come back and log in. Or you can actually sign up directly within the PlayStation 4. Now, some of you guys may not have a computer to hand, so let's just do it that way. And it, in effect, takes you to a web browser and you click down and it's the usual terms of service and you have to agree. And then it says create an account. Now I'm set for the United Kingdom. Obviously you would set your, <laughs> your region and then you would put in name. And in this instance, I'm going to do And what you would do, you would just type it in and then hit R2 to enter that. And let's do... R2 again. And then it's got... It shows you here, this would be your name. Your display name must be between 3 and 16 characters. Now, we've got it here as kid test. So we could leave it as that and that's what I'm going to do. So we've got it as kid test and then you would enter an email address. And then once you've entered the email address, you'd hit R2 again. And then you want a password. And once you've done that, you can hit R2 again to continue. And then you come up with the end license agreement and you can hit the O to decline or the square to accept. And of course you want to accept. It says creating account. And it's all created. So now we just need to wait for it to log on, which does take a little while. And then you've got the game. So Save the World's the, uh, the, the standard game, but everyone wants to play the Battle Royale. So let's go into Battle Royale. And then you want to go into the lobby. Don't want the shop at this stage. And it'll show you the <laughs> brief intro. You get a different one for every season. I don't play this game much, but I do find it amusing. And we're in. So if you look at the top right hand side, you can go up there. Or in fact, what you hit is options 
and it brings it up. And if you look at the top there, you've got Epic Friends. Now, that is basically where you add your friends. So if you've got a friend and you know what their Epic game handle is, their, you know, their gamer name, you can go in and you can add in your friends. So for instance, if I click on here now, and it says, hello, Fortnite player, by clicking confirm below, you're acknowledging that you will be playing Fortnite with players on other platforms. So click confirm. And once you've clicked confirm, you can go back up to Epic Friends and click X. And then you've got these three icons. You want the one in the middle, manage Epic Friends, go down and it says add Epic Friends. So you go down into the window and let's add a friend. So let's add my actual normal account from my Xbox. And let me see what am I called? It's good in it. Forget my own name. And then hit R2 and then go down from there and click X to add. And as you see down the bottom there, it's got outgoing. Now, if I click on that, it should show Joe Chip. So next time I'm on with my Xbox, I can accept that account, or I could even go into my Epic Games account online and I could accept that. And then I will be able to play with myself. <laughs> In effect, uh, Joe Chip would be able to play with Kid Test. So if you've got any Epic Games friends who are playing on the Xbox and you're on the PlayStation, you can send them a friend's request and you should be able to play together. So let me know how you get on with that. If you get to play with your friends, if you have any fun, I know my kid's going to try and play with his friend on the PlayStation because he's playing on the Xbox. But there is another issue on the Xbox with this that I will go into in another video. So stay tuned if you're interested in that. But for the time being, that's me done. Hopefully that's some help to somebody. And I'm going to go and get myself a cup of tea because my voice is going. Don't know if you can hear it. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.